will actually spend time determining the trustworthiness of the person in the process. And as long as you're roughly in here, and then you better know if you're in here, because then you've got to, when you onboard that person into the organization, you've got to come hard and early with the communication. And at first, there'll always be pushback here. This person will judge themselves only on their competency, not on their teamwork, always. And then once they understand they can get a lot done, once they start to become trustworthy, they don't lose their competency. And then what they do is they start to pull up their teammates. They start going, let me show you this. Let me help you with this. And that drives this. That's why I said earlier, it's an accelerated process that occurs. Once somebody gets it yeah. and they're like, oh, fuck, that's how. Got it. Because it's not like you're giving any of this up. This does not drop at the expense of trust. It actually accelerates because then you, the whole team starts to rally around projects. The team rallies around an effort. And the high performer, low trust will actually end up, people will start want to want to screw them to get even. You said high performance, low trust? No, high performance, low trust, like that person will not get, will not be, uh, uh, have a benefactor mentality from any of their teammates. The teammates are going to be like, oh, fuck them, fuck mm -hmm. them, fuck them. Right? But as soon as they see that they're trying and they're going after it, and then this person knows that trust is an important skill set in the team, it's, it's pro sports are like that. If you ever see these pro sports teams that win Super Bowls or you know, Premier Cup you know, championships, mm -hmm. and they're like the no-namers, because yeah. it was built on trust. It was built on trust among 11 players or 55 players, depending on what sport you're playing. Mm -hmm. Because what happens with sometimes is, let's say somebody thinks that they dropped the ball, technically. Mm -hmm. what, what do they do? They immediately go, oh, oh, and they stop performing, right? Because they get caught up in what happened a minute ago. Yeah, the and then mistake. moving forward, right, yeah. they get fixated on the mistake. Mm -hmm. But instead, they're like, cool, my teammate's going to pick that up. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, yeah. Versus the teammate who's like, eh, I don't care. Somebody will get it. No, I'm not worried about it. Post will pick it up. I'm using that as an example from the sure, meeting sure. the other day. Yeah. So, you know, this is a very, very dynamic Interesting, and, and it goes down to relationships, to, 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 to marriages, relationships, friendships. I mean, think about the people you've held highest in your life. You know? And we can even go down to shallow things. Like if you think about friendships, some people want to be around pretty people all the time. And they're pricks, the yeah. pretty people. And how about the people like, why the hell is she interested in how, you know, he's not even that good looking. Because this is here. Yep. Yeah. This is here. Most stuff.